Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So before we get into this video, I do want to apologize if you guys hear any background noise. I don't know who's downstairs in the basement, but um, my landlord is either my landlord or someone else is in the basement, and their TV is super loud, so you might hear it, and I apologize, but I really wanted to make this video before I forgot, but, um, okay, so as the title says below, um, this video is going to be an unboxing slash mini and first impressions review on a book box company that I found for you guys, so I know a lot of you ladies follow my book channel, which is Nate's Pink Bookshelf, you can just click the eye on the screen over here to go to that channel, but that channel is where I do most of my other book reviews, such as like my secular books. And a lot of you were asking if there were any Christian book boxes out there. So I did some research and found a few. And on the 17th of December, I sent a bunch of emails out to different companies. Now, none of the companies responded back, which is perfectly fine because a lot of the times companies don't respond back. Um, so, you know, I thought nothing of it. And today I got a package in the mail from one of the companies, which completely shocked me. So it is the 21st as I'm making this video 10 days from the end of the year oh jesus can't believe it but um yes so the company as the title says below is the delilah box and this is a christian book box geared towards women and learning more about the lesser known women in the bible which i think is phenomenal now this is a new to me company but um i've seen it around for a long time and i've been wanting to try out their boxes but i never really had a motivation to do it but after you ladies were asking me questions about it i figured why not just reach out to some of the companies i've been having an eye on to see if they would like to collaborate and possibly have me do a review on their box so my package came in the mail today so stoked and um i opened it but i didn't look at the items because i wanted to make this video which is why i'm making it now instead of waiting and i apologize if you ladies see a glare my ring light is on i need it on i don't want to take my glasses off so yes but we're gonna dive in like i said this is a new to me company so i will leave the instagram as well as the facebook and their website linked down below but this is a monthly subscription box which i think is totally cool so i'm going to just read what it says on the website and then tell you guys pricing and we're gonna get into unboxing this baby so um it says the delilah box is designed for those of us who wish to learn about the lesser known lesser liked and sometimes more relatable women of the bible as women of faith, we all strive to be Marys, yet truth be told, there are definitely days we feel more like Delilah. I think that's funny because I literally just finished reading Delilah a couple days ago by um, Angela Hunt, so I thought that was funny. But um, it says, we fall from grace, we make mistakes, we love hard, we love wrong, and carry on. The Delilah Box's goal is to create a community of spiritual women who appreciate and learn from all the women of Christ's time, even the Jezebels. Each month is centered around a different gal and includes items relating to our theme. Expect to receive two books, fiction or nonfiction, a herbal tea, a bath tea, Bible journaling items, or other relaxation items such as a soy candle, a study brochure, and sometimes there will be a third fun read included in two or three books or two to three accessory items so they do have this where you can sign up monthly it'll be $29 with $5 domestic shipping for three months it will be $85.50 and then for the six month subscription it will be $160 so keep in mind all of these it's domestic shipping of $5 which I think is a good deal but um yeah I think that's pretty much it the owner of the company's name is Taylor Hill so I want to thank her personally for sending this to me i wasn't expecting it like i said i never got any email responses back so i didn't think anything of it so i was totally completely shocked when i got this in the mail and was super happy so we're gonna dive into this now i know she used to have boxes which i'll pop a picture here so you guys can see what the boxes used to look like but um she has changed up her packaging and she sends out little bags now that are themed to i guess the month or the season that you're in so i'm gonna pull out mines Here it is, and I'm going to just throw the envelope to the side. So here is the little baggie, and it's so, so stinking cute. So it has snowflakes on it. It's red with white snowflakes. So cute. And I'm not sure if she makes these by hand or purchased them, but if they're made by hand, that is epic. Um, so we're going to open it, and inside it looks like this. I don't know what's in here, so we're going to dive in together. Um, okay. So all right, I'm going to take out what's on the top. Whoa. Okay, so I see three teas, and y'all know I love me some tea. I like tea. Like, I'm on the channel a lot with coffee, but I love tea. Um, so I have three of these scripture teas. 
I have two in the Orange Pico Cut Black Tea. I personally don't, I do not like Orange Pico. Like, it's disgusting to me. Um, so we have two of those. Um, they both say Proverbs 3.5. I think they all say Proverbs 3.5. Yeah, they all say Proverbs 3.5 on it. Um, but it says that. So we have the Orange Pico, and then I have the Blackberry Decaffeinated. So I think they're black teas, both. All of them are black teas. But it says, warm your spirit with scripture tea. Trust the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. And on the back, it says, with a Bible verse on each tea bag. Um, for a perfect cup of tea, pour hot water over tea bag and brew for four to six minutes. And the website is scripturetea.com. So that's quite interesting. I'm going to see if they have other type of teas that I can try out. But we have three teas, which is awesome for me. Love teas. Okay, everything is like just falling out. So I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, um, I have what is this? Three candy canes, little miniature candy canes, which I'm definitely gonna give to my son to eat. We have that. This is just a scripture card. It says Jesus is the reason for the season. Luke 1 and 31 to 33. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. So this is super cute. I'm gonna keep this and probably stick this in my journaling Bible when I get back into that. Then we have this little magnet. It says this girl runs on cupcakes and Jesus and if you guys don't know I love me the orange cupcakes from um Hosos so good so that's true I used to eat them a lot um I actually need to go buy me two boxes of those so I love that this says that so yes we have that all right what else is in here what else is in here so we have some recipe cards we have four recipe cards and they're tied in this cute little bow but it says recipe and then it says from the kitchen of you put your ingredients directions and um that's cute i have a lot of recipe books i like to cook but i also don't like to cook at the same time and that probably sounds weird but i love the whole um the steps to cooking i just don't like the cleanup after washing all the dishes and yeah we don't like that but i do enjoy cooking i have a lot of cookbooks and a lot of recipes that i want to try out and make up for myself so this is going to come in handy for me so i have that and that is cute so then we have a bunch of little cards um so this one is thank you for your subscription it wouldn't be the same without you i appreciate you the delilah box and um, it just says enjoy with her signature on it. So that is really nice. I like that. Then we have some cards. So this is looks like a bookmark. It says this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118 and 24. That is cute. I am going to laminate that and save that. And again, I apologize if you hear the TV. It is not in my house. It's literally downstairs. And the person's room, I guess, is completely like under my room, which is irritating. But um, we have some postcards. So... This one is from Tony A. Gaskin Jr. It says, Lord, if it's not your will, let it slip through my grasp and give me the peace not to worry about it. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, that is nice. I'm going to stick this on my wall. This one is Philippians 3 and 12. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. That is nice. And then this one is so, so stinking cute. She looks like a planner girl, but it says Galatians 6 and 9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So that's super duper cute. We have that. So I like that. Um, then we have this. This is the Delilah Box cookbook. So this is a little cookbook with recipes in it. So you have the Hot Spice Cranberry Punch. That is cute. That's what it looks like. That is really cute. You have a popcorn tray, the sea fudge, the seas fudge, creamy key lime cheese pie, um, portobello mushrooms. Ooh, I don't, I don't eat mushrooms. Oh. Um, easy cheesy Parmesan bread. I will try that. But this is the stuffed mushrooms on this page. Um, then you have the tangy raspberry salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Sweet dill pickles, cheesy chicken. Ooh, okay. Some quick, easy tacos. That's what that looks like. Um, chocolate peanut butter squares. My my son's father and him would love that. Pineapple pie, rocky rolled brownies, and then monkey bread, which I definitely want to try some monkey bread. So we have that. So that is cool. We have a recipe book. That's cute. Okay. 
All right, so getting into the first book here. This is When Jesus Was a Green-Eyed Brunette, Loving People Like God Does by Max Davis. I have never heard of him, but this cover is stinking cute. It is a Christian nonfiction from what I believe. This looks to be Christian nonfiction. Yeah, this is Christian nonfiction. I don't know anything about it, but um, it's published by Worthy Publishing. Um, so we're just going to read the back. Uh, it says, when Jesus was a green-eyed brunette, weaves heartwarming and miraculous stories of Jesus showing up in ordinary people, revealing that he knows us and is fully present in our everyday circumstances, especially in our difficulties. Those hurting and weary from worn-out religion are longing for a fresh touch from the living Jesus. Best-selling author Max Davis challenges us to do more than simply receive God's grace. We need to allow grace to soften, change, and shape us. As you read this book, you will laugh, cry, and come face to face with the living Jesus, much like Davis did when he found him living in a green-eyed brunette. As Davis puts it, Jesus is very much alive today and still does incredible things, sometimes supernatural things, through us. So that sounds like it's going to be interesting. Okay, so some of the chapters say Jesus is in the coffee aisle. Um, peanut butter and four-letter curse words, bleeding all over the pages, iron butts in journalism, sacred peace in the inferno, Jesus knows sign language, orange jumpsuits and old typewriters, um, Jesus dancing like a little black girl in a red dress, I don't know about that, um, but okay, we're going to give this a try and I'll let you guys know what I think about it, but we have this Christian nonfiction book. The next item I pull out is... Okay, okay, two things. So we have this little notepad with a Christmas tree on it, and it just says Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to chapter 2, verse 23. I always need notepads for, like, scratch paper, so that's great. We love that. Anything else in here? Okay, so this is from the owner of the company, um, and it's the journey from grief to joy, my first year of being a Christian widow. Wow, okay. I Again, I don't know much about the owner, so this is, like, brand new to me. Um, but I, I think this is going to be an interesting read. So it literally goes through her first year as a widow from January 2019 to, I think, I guess now, December? Or is this going to end at November? Yeah, December 5th, 2019. So we have this cute little book that she typed up and wrote. I love the um, the floral print on it. Really nice. So I'm going to read this um, because this is like personal to her. So I really want to know her story and see how she has been feeling through her first year of being a Christian widow. So that was a nice personal touch. And I love companies that give you personal touches of themselves. Um, so we have that, which I'm definitely going to be reading that. Next we have... <gasps> Okay, I really, okay, so I like Liz Curtis Higgs as an author. Um, I read one of, I, I own a few of her books, but I only read one, which is um, The Women of Easter, which has to do with the Three Marys, and I adored that book. So I've been wanting to get her other books, and she has a bunch of books on the, uh, I guess, the bad girls of the Bible, and this one is amazing. Um, I think this is the second one because she has another one, which, um, let me see real quick. Um, yeah, so she has Bad Girls of the Bible, but this is part two, which is really Bad Girls of the Bible. More Lessons from Less Than Perfect Women by Liz Curtis Higgs, and I've really been wanting this book for a long time. Um, so now that I have it, I can now just purchase the first one and be happy. So I'm so stoked, and again, I know who Liz Curtis Higgs is. I own a few of her books. Um, so yes, I also want to get her book, It's Good to Be Queen. But um, So she goes through the medium of Endor. Jael, the adulteress, um, Bathsheba, Herodias, Tamar the widow, the bleeding woman, and um, Athalia. I think that's how you say that. And <laughs> there's a study guide and things in here. So, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to read this. So, yes, I'm so happy to have this. So, that is epic. Okay. This is epic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like, I'm just, I'm blown away. Okay. So, it says on the back, discover the truth about God's sovereignty from the Bible's Really Bad Girls. Eight of the Bible's most notorious females strut across the pages of Really Bad Girls of the Bible with trouble that will hit home in the 21st century. The medium of Endor crossed over to the dark side. Jael stood up to a ruthless enemy. And I know about Jael because she's in the book of Judges. Um, the adulteress was caught between a rock and a hard place. Athalia, I don't 
I think that's how you say that name. Um, Athalia made a bid for power that ended badly. Bathsheba captured the wandering eye of a king. Herodias made a cruel request of her husband. Tamar, I think Herodias is the one that asked her husband to kill somebody and then so something along those lines. Um, Tamar exchanged her widowed weeds for a harlot's garb and the bleeding woman had a serious health issue only a great physician could handle. Really Bad Girls of the Bible shines a spotlight on God's sovereignty, demonstrating one life-changing truth. God's, God rules the lives of those he loves with mercy, compassion, and hope. And this includes discussing questions and a study guide. So I am like so excited. This is from Waterbrook um, Publication. So, oh my God, this is epic. Wow, this, this is epic, you guys. I love this already. Just this alone has sold me. Okay. And I think this is the last item in here. Okay. All right. So we have this 2019 release, but I own it already. So I will include this most likely in my fictional giveaway since I own this book. But this book did come out in 2019 and it is the fourth and final book in the Silent Years series by Angela Hunt. This is The King's Shadow, The Silent Years, a novel of King Herod's court which is totally awesome so i mean you guys this is epic like this book alone is 16 dollars. i own it i haven't read it i have all four books i need to read it asap but this book is 16 dollars. um this one is 16 dollars, and then this book here is also 16 dollars. so i mean you got three books chart you know costing at 16 dollars each then you have a cookbook this little personal touch from the author you have some postcards here a notepad some recipe cards um a magnet and three teas three teas and some candy for only 29 dollars plus five dollars shipping that is epic um i'm impressed i know that in her previous boxes she did some books from connie lynn cassette um was it connie lynn cassette i'm actually gonna pop up on the instagram page real quick and tell you guys um okay yeah so she had connie lynn cassettes in november which was counted with the stars, which I am here for. Um, okay, now for December, it says it was another book, which is um, Mara, the Daughter of the Nile, which I never heard of. So that is interesting. Um, so that is cool. October, she had King Shadow um, and then Panarios. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, her, her site is really amazing. Her Instagram is cool. So that is interesting. I highly suggest you guys check her out. Um, again, she's had Delilah. Of course, she has to have Delilah as one of the books. But she's done um, The Crimson Cord. She's done Isaiah's Daughter, Love in a Broken Vessel, The Prophetess. Um, I mean, she has some really well-known authors. Angela Hunt, Misu Andrews, um, Jill Eileen Smith. So that is epic she also had a box with heart of the king she had a box that had orson scott cards rebecca which is from his women of genesis series which i do own that trilogy on ebook which i need to read soon but yeah you guys i think this is epic i'm definitely going to <gasps> did she have this as a, as a oh my god in february she had sinners in the sea which is the untold story of Noah's wife by Rebecca Kana Kainar. And that's a book I actually want to get my hands on. So this is epic. You're getting a nonfiction and a fictional book and they're on different women of the Bible. And I just, I like that she focuses on lesser known women. And I'm here for learning about lesser known women. You guys actually know that that's one of the prompts um, for the Faith Readathon. If you guys don't know, I'm doing a Faith Reads Readathon for the month of January. So click the eye on the screen to check that out. But that is epic. So... I, I can't wait like I am like really stoked about these two now again I own a copy of this already because I did receive a copy from the publisher but the fact that this was included epic um this is a book that has been on my list for a long time so to finally own a physical copy of this now and like have this baby I'm excited to read it so I would I recommend it? Definitely. Um, I'm definitely going to give this box another go. I'm going to look into purchasing my own box. Because like I said, she didn't send, did send this to me for free, which was totally unexpected. So thank you again, Taylor Hill, for sending this to me. Um, I definitely recommend the Delilah box if you guys are interested. Again, check out the Instagram page if you guys want to know more information. Check out the website down below. And do I recommend it? Yes, I, I, I do recommend it. I mean, th I, I got three books in this box and i'm saying box but it's really a bag and i mean the bag itself is super super cute i would use this as a book pouch because i love i have a thing with um book book um what they call them book covers 
I have one way over there. I'm not going to grab it. But you guys know, um, I have book covers, which I put my books in when I'm out traveling so that if I throw them in my bag, they're not going to get ruined. Um, so this is definitely going to be used as a book cover for some of my bigger books. This is epic. Um, again, I don't know if this was handmade or not, but I, I love this. Like, I, <laughs> I, I recommend it. I'm sold, recommend it, and um, that's all I'm going to say for this video. So, again, everything will be linked down below. I will also have a blog post corresponding to this so that you guys can check out things more in depth um, and get more information on the books if you want. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing, liking, all that great stuff. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the family. I am always looking to grow the sisterhood. I cannot believe we are currently at 2,670 subscribers. Like, that is great. And I don't like saying subscribers. I'm going to say sisters. Like, that is epic to me, you guys. Like, totally epic. I'm almost at 3,000, so definitely got to do a giveaway when I hit 3,000. Um, and a lot of you guys don't know, I did announce the giveaway winner in one of my videos, either my reading blog or my unboxing. Um, but my sis Stephanie over at Quilting Beauty in Books did win, and I mentioned that in the video if you guys didn't know, so that was already done. I will have... Um, a few giveaways coming for next year because I have a gi two giveaways coming in January for the Faith Reads Readathon. One is going to be for the photo challenge and the other one is just going to be an overall giveaway for that uh, readathon that we're doing. Um, more information for that will come in January but most likely I'm going to be giving away two sets of Christian fiction, biblical fiction books that I own, um, doubles of, because you guys know I tend to get doubles and multiple copies of books from authors and from blog tours and stuff, which I don't mean for that to happen ever, but it just happens that way, so we have that, and I will have my 3,000 subscriber sisterhood giveaway. I'm also going to do an Instagram giveaway, which I have that bag already, like, packed, so I need to do that for Instagram soon, um, because I mentioned it on Instagram this past year, but have not done it yet, so we have that. But, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Again, check out the Delilah box. It just, it, it's adorable. Like, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Again, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, click the bell to stay notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video.